What's up YouTube? We're there again with our next topic. I'm sitting on my pretty boy shirt. Like me, I got Hannah Lulu. But yo, welcome back to Chatterbox. And if a boy violate, we just shut him up box. And you see me? This is one you're doing pretty, you know. Wow. Me here say, them kill Alpo Martinez one night in Harlem. No, for all of those who don't know Alpo, you guys should go do your research because who don't know Alpo? And this movie don't give much details, but there is a movie with some stuff about him where you have some characters playing him called Paid in Full. You guys could check that out too. It's a good movie. But Alpo Martinez basically was one of the top drug kingpin in Harlem, I believe, in the 80s, early 90s. And the man did a rise to power and then he ended up doping Bridgen because he feel like saying Bridgen did a go behind him back and overprice him. He price for a plug and give him and so so. He feel like him, him Bridgen did this liar. So I'm cut off him water support, is it me? So them thing that show you say friend kill friend and you know, a friend killer is a wicked piece of thing, you know, and you know the streets, you know, a drug game, the streets not love you. Friend don't mean nothing when it come to business. You know? Pulled up right here. He got into the van, he got into the van right here. And once he got into the van, I locked I knew I had to lock I locked the doors. And as I was, as I was pulling off, I was asking him because it didn't take long after i pulled off i was asking him like yo rich where did you get that coke from man that that shit was good because i wanted to make him comfortable that shit was good as a motherfucker he's like i got it from my connect so yeah so from there i knew he was lying i turned to my little man i gave him the nod once i gave him the nod my little man spent because he was short so he could stand up in the van next thing you heard was the two gunshots bang bang Richard slumped over, and it happened. It happened right here. It happened right here. At this light. At this light, it happened. I'm saying, to, in my mind, I'm saying to my little man, yo, he's dead. He's done it. He just got hit with a 357. Twice. The, the only sound I heard was, uh, you know, him releasing his breath, his last breath. So I'm assuming that he's dead. And I need to find a place to put his, you know, to put his, leave his body without anyone seeing me and seeing the van or just, so the only thing, the only place I can think of and just driving it and, it, and it's just so funny. I'm saying City Island, but I'm not even sure if I wanted City Island, but I just, I just knew I wanted to get off the streets and get onto a highway. How did you feel? Was you mad? Was you angry? Like what was going on in your head? I was very, I was very mad. I just killed a nigga that I loved, a nigga that I was getting money with, a nigga that I called my brother. We kept, we kept driving this way, and um, until I can find a remote spot to uh, leave the body. Go around this turn right here. Well, yeah, loop it real quick. <coughs> it was somewhere over here. So I pulled over like right here, just through the uh, through the van up on the, as close as I can to the rail. Once once I pulled over, my little man, he's probably about Gary's probably like five, three, one something. So I'm trying to stay behind this. I'm trying to stay behind the, the steering wheel. I'm trying to stay in the driver's seat. Just in case we gotta pull over, pull off, and have him go dump the body. But when he went to go try to dump, you know, get Rich out the car, he couldn't. He couldn't pick him up. He couldn't pick him up. Rich was bigger than him, so he couldn't. He couldn't move him to 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 put him in the woods and all that. So now I gotta get. I had to get out the van to go help him. And when I went to go help him, Richard made a sound. So that shit startled me. Like, oh shit, he's still alive. 
So I grabbed the gun. I grabbed the gun from my little man and put one in his head. And then I had to pick him up. I had to pick him up and and dump him in the woods and leave his body. I was able to, you know, get him where he needed to be. And then we jumped back in the we jumped back in the van and I made sure I didn't skid off or anything like that to leave any kind of tracks. And we uh and we left. And we left and the rest was the newspapers. So but basically him get away with all of that and he must have gone DC and I work with some brother named Wayne Perry and when the feds them come down upon them and grab him him, him in farm upon the whole time on them so he can't get less time so he get released in about 2015 and he did upon um, what you call it witness protection and then ship him out to some different place and I think about 2019 we see him start resurface back in Harlem the man all I come and tell us he might do a documentary it's a video he might rev dirt bike on on ATV and I drive through ride through Harlem like so everything good like him not remember what him do and I feel like so nobody did ever come for him is it man? but it was a big mistake the man should have known say it can't come back to the town. But we don't know what really happened still in the but that's a just assumption that the people them who shoot him, whoever so shoot him, it must be a retaliation for something back in the days. Most likely him killing him bridge in Rich Porter. And when him dead, Rich Porter family then nice the streets are rejoiced made them a pop champagne and then our oh, son not like the idea of them doing that because I said this not make make it right but you know two families lost a loved one now you know and the show sure said not worth it you see me but it's not just speculation and here so still we don't know the full story and everyone uh the whole hundred of everything will go on but yeah this this seems like Thanks again, YouTube, for checking in with me. You know my motto go already. Have a blessed day. And don't make pass a man lead you astray.